in the previous video we have created a form using the template driven approach and we are using that form to add a new book in this application this is how the form looks like here you can see we are having all the html components that is the input box and here we are having this button and on click of this button we are adding a new book also we do not have any kind of api as of now in this application we are using a singleton service and because we are not refreshing this page so the instance of that service will be available in the entire application and whatever data we are adding from this particular form that will be visible to us on this old books form okay so if you will see that on this add book form we are having this design but it is not looking good now i want to update this design by using the angular material components let's understand how to do that angular material provides you all the advanced components to design your form let's go to the angular material website so here you can search for angular material and then use this angular material website that is material.angular.io here you can click on this components and on the left hand side you will see a list of all the components so i want to go to the form field component first so here we are this component provides so many things if you want to add something in your form then this is the best place you will get the design of all the input box in so many different ways so let's say you want to use this design then you can use it here is the second design this is the third design and this is the fourth design you can use any one of them so let's start adding this kind of design in our book store application for this particular form to use this kind of component we have to use this module in this application so i'm just going to copy this entire line and go to our application in this application we have created one separate material module and that is available inside shared folder so here is the shared folder and this is the material module okay let's just paste it over here and use this mat form fill module here in the exports array we are done with the change now we need to add one more module and let's go to this input so basically we are using the input box and for the input box angular material has one more component so here it is let's just copy this entire line go back to the application paste it over here and use this mat input module save all the changes now we can use the form field this one in our application so let's say i want to use the third one click on this one here you will see we are having this code so let's just copy this code and go back to our application here we are we have created this form under this books component that is the books module and we are having one component with name add book over here this is the entire form that we are using and here let's just paste that code now let's see what we have on the browser on the browser you will see we are having this design if i go to the console section we are not getting any error it, it means everything is good so far we are using four different input box over here so let's add four of them so just copy it paste again like this okay save all the changes let's see what we have on the browser we are having this design that all the input boxes are placed in one single row we will handle the situation by using the css okay so first let's just comment all these things that we are using over here and here let's use the mat button that is the angular material or we can use the mat raise button save the changes so we have created the design of this button as well and let's put the color also the color would be primary save the changes we are having this button now we already know that this form is working fine so we do not need this form value we can simply remove it and let's add some css to format this particular form so over here i'm going to add a new class let's give a name like add book form just use this class and copy this class and go to the scss file or the css file that you are using in your application and here we can add some css here i'm writing display flags So I have written two properties over here. First is display flex and second is flex direction is equals to column. Let's see what we have on the browser. So here you can see we are having all the fields in a column and we are having all of them properly. Okay. If you want to add some further design like the padding, 
you can do all of them over here so here i'm adding padding of let's say 20 pixel and the form is looking good to us now let's update all the values to make it a proper form the semicolon is extra let's remove it go back to the html file to work with the template driven approach we have to use two things first is this ng model and second is this name we have to follow the similar approach with these angular material components also so first let's start with this ng model so just copy it and paste it over here let's see let's see what we have on the browser here you can see we are getting an error it means we have to provide the name so let's provide the name to this particular input box and we can copy everything from this place so i'm going to just copy this placeholder ng model and the title and let's just update the first one like this save the changes let's see what we have on this browser this time there is no error and this is the form here in the placeholder we are getting this title but where is this fill form field coming from it is coming from this particular place if you want to keep it then you can have it otherwise you can also remove it if you don't need it like this now if you will click over here there will not be any kind of animation design like you are getting over here basically you will have a plain text box but let's just add it so here i am adding the title like this and this time you will see we are having this title and as a placeholder also we are having this title and it is working fine now let's talk about this particular icon so this icon is coming from this particular place mat icon if you want to use the icon in your input box then you can provide it over here if you do not need the icon then you can simply remove it let's see how it will look like if i'm not using the icon see the icon is not visible in the first input box because i have removed it from the first one but let's keep the icon as well and to use the different icons you can use the google icons so just go to the font.google.com and just append these icons and here you can search for any icon so let's say i'm searching for name or just the person see there are so many icons over here if you want to use anyone let's say i want to use this one so what is the code for this one here it is person only you can just use this person text go back to your application over here let's use this person save the changes let's see what we have we are having a different icon over here now based on your field you can choose an icon from this free google website let's use a proper one over here so here i'm searching for title do we have any icon with this yes we have one icon so it is saying title let's use this one i'm happy with this one and let's use the title save the changes you will see we are having this icon at this place now what is this hint this hint is coming from this particular line if you want to provide any kind of hint to your form field or you can use this one to display your error message as well so based on your need you can just use it if you don't need it you can simply remove it so let's say i'm just removing it like this okay so we are having this form and we are having the icons and it is working fine now let's add the proper icons for all of them so and before that let's use all these things so in the second input box i'm using these values for the author in the third one i'll be using for the pages so here it is and in the last one we have to use the price and for the third and fourth we have to use the type number so this one is the pages let's use the type here like this and over here also cool let's update these labels also so here i am using the price and here i am using the pages number of pages like this this is the author and here let's use that person icon so it is looking good now let's update these two icons also so first let's go with the this money symbol we can use this attach money
we are having this money symbol and and for the number of pages let's use that one two three save all the changes and here we have the proper form it is time to test this form to test this form we can add some values let's say i'm passing dummy data this is the author let's say i'm writing my name number of pages are 100 and price is let's say 120 dollar just hit the save button you will see this is something we are having on this form and if i go to the old books page by clicking on this button you will see at the end we are having this particular so we have added this form with name dummy data this is the author this is the total pages and in the price we are having undefined undefined let's fix this problem also go to this add book page and over here let's see what is the type of this price the type of this price is this price model but here we have assigned the value directly and because of that we are getting this problem currency is equals to let's say it is dollar and in the value part let's put this one we can make this currency section as a dynamic by providing a drop down on the form let's try to add one more book over here to display its value so if you will wonder that why that book is not visible now this is because we are using a singleton service we are not storing them permanently anywhere that reference will exist until i will refresh this particular form and after making the changes there was a refresh on this browser that is why that data is gone if i will try to add a new book over here it is let's say dummy author let's put everything as dummy 100 and 100 hit the save button so this is what we got on the console go to the old books at the bottom side you will see we are having this dummy these are this is the author and this is the total pages and this is the price this is how you can design your form in template driven approach